Hello everyone, my name is Ilya. I'm an IT professional who likes to share his knowledge. And I was asked many times why I use one part plus plus. And every time I answered that it saves me a lot of time. And today it's time to show exactly how it does it. Long story short, my customer wants to migrate from one anti-spam system to Defender 365. And of course he plans to transfer some settings, some of the settings of the current anti-spam system. Let's focus on blocked senders and blocked sender domains. There are two different opportunities how to add information about blocked senders, blocked sender domains. The first one is to add them through the web interface. It's pretty simple, but it's absolutely useless if we talk about hundreds of entries. To simplify, we can use PowerShell and pass this data with a simple script. One important thing, data must be in quotation marks and comma separated. Simple? Yeah, sure. It remains to understand where we get the raw data from. My customer sent me a file where each address was placed on a separate line. Another problem was that the domain names and mailbox names were mixed up. I could spend a day manually entering the data or, or I could start using Notepad++. Let's figure out how quick we can solve the problem using Notepad++. Let's go. As you could notice, my file contains information not only about email addresses, also about domain names. Unfortunately, I cannot mix domain names and email addresses in one PowerShell CM lid. And first of all, I have to remove domains or email addresses and work only with one type of data. How to do it? I'm going to remove all email addresses from this list. To start, I just click Ctrl, sorry, I just press Ctrl F and in Find option, I go to Mark. My logic is pretty simple. Every email address has at symbol. It means that we can find all lines that contain at symbol and mark these lines. Let's do it. I click mark all and you can see that before every line with the mail address there is a blue ball. What's next? Right now we run a function remove all marked lines. Pretty simple. Search option, bookmarks, remove booked mark lines. Voila, and there are only four domain names. Of course, I play with the file that contained 20, 25 lines, but in reality, it could be a really huge file with thousands or hundreds of lines. And in five seconds, we were able to change this file, extract only necessary information. Okay, guys, step number two we have to add a quotation mark to the start of each line and to the end of each line. How to do it? Also pretty simple. We just have to press Ctrl F and find Replace tab, Replace option. What should be done? We have to find a specific symbol. This symbol means the beginning of every line. And when we find the beginning of every line, we have to replace it with our quotation mark. Okay, I added information. I added a special symbol that means the beginning of every line and replaced it with a quotation mark. Don't forget to check search mode. It must be regular expression. Okay, that's it. I just click replace all and you could see that every line got quotation a quotation mark. Two additional lines, I think these lines contained spaces. It's also possible to remove empty lines, but not in this video. Okay, we got quotation marks 
at the beginning of every line and we have to add a quotation mark in the end of every line. Also pretty simple. One more time, Ctrl F. And right now we search another symbol that means the end of every line. And also replace it with a quotation mark. One more time, replace all. Oh, that's it. Every line starts with a quotation mark and ends with a quotation mark. And only one thing left. We have to separate every domain name with a comma. To accomplish our task, there is only one thing left. We have to combine together all our domain names. It means that instead a lot of different lines, we need only one. And every domain must be separated with a comma. Okay. How to do it? It can be done with already well-known feature in Notepad++. I press Ctrl F and try to find slash R slash N. It means new line symbol. Okay, in every place where is a new line symbol located, we have to remove it. Oh, to be exactly, we have to replace it with a comma. Okay, one more time. Every new line symbol will be replaced with a comma. Voila! And at the moment we got a really, really, really long line with all our domain names. Okay, I just copy it and go to PowerShell Eyes. Unfortunately, I cannot use, I cannot connect to Exchange Online using Mac operating system because uh, this PowerShell model doesn't support M1 processors. Okay, what to do next? I want to add information regarding blocked domain names. I just copy my domains and paste it to the PowerShell commandlet. I copied information about my domain names and just run this commandlet. Let's wait a little bit. Yeah, it's done and right now I want to check it. In the beginning of this video I opened Microsoft Defender 365 web interface and as you can see there were not any domain names or senders etc. And right now I just refresh settings and open anti-spam inbound policy again. Scroll down and wow, as you see I have four domain names. All these domain names were added using PowerShell commandlet. Okay, in a nutshell, what I wanted to say. First of all, Notepad++ is a really super powerful tool to simplify routine tasks. And it's completely free. If sometimes you have to play with data, just install this software. By the way, there is no Notepad++ for Mac OS. Unfortunately, I have to run this application inside a virtual machine. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time. Good luck.